I tattooed his name on my booty. Where? On my booty. Where? On my booty. On your booty. Yes, you did. And we were broken up. <laughs> yes, you did. All my friends were like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you tattooing his name on your ass when you're not with him? And I said, uh, because this is his ass. If he ever comes back for it, I'm going to give it to him. And anybody I'm with needs to know. So I'm putting it there. So if they know, if it happens, they already know it's his. <laughs> and my friends were like, you are crazy. I was like, I do not care. That's just what it is. I know that's what it is, right? So... I go meet him in uh, San Luis Obispo. I walk into the hotel. Like, we were so happy to see each other. I got a fly-ass room. It was amazing. Fly view right on the beach. Yes. So, um, you know, it's that time. I take off my clothes. And then I just turn and walk away from him. He goes, what is that? And then I was like, take a closer look. And he was like, that's my name. You put my name on your ass? <laughs> and I was like, Yes. Because it's yours. It's always been yours. It's always going to be yours. And I don't know what's going to happen with us, but that's just what it is. <laughs> I love you. Uh, He's so cute. Got a big play grin. Look at his little grin. Look at his little grin. Inside, I'm like, my dad's going to I'm mad. I'm mad. Uh, it was great. Now, this was posted to one of the big forums on social media, and I responded to it saying, this is delusional. Only to have a woman respond back to me saying, well... She did it, it worked, and now they're happily married. And of course I responded back to her, yeah, good for her. But it would be delusional to think that that will happen with every situation. Go ahead and get some dude's name tatted on you that you're not in a relationship with and see how well that goes for you. You don't sit over here having other men clapping them cheeks talking about who's Jeremy. This also goes to show you, and he knows that there's some dudes that will always have a spot in her heart that he will always, no matter what, be able to come back and get them cheeks whenever he likes. Look at him, he know, he know. She could have been in a relationship with a whole other man, but he still had access to that access. <laughs>
A-OK. -okay. This man ain't taking her serious. She can't even take herself serious right now doing all this laughing. Y'all remember, this is the same chick that went viral for saying that her boyfriend was staying home, not doing nothing, not making no money, living off of her. She been doing this stuff for clout for a hot minute now. My toxic trait is, I've been trying to fix my with meaningless situationships, knowing that no man could ever love me the way my father did, so I don't even bother with no relationship. Choosing men that's emotionally unavailable, because the trauma that I carry, I've been trying to bury. So I picked the ones I couldn't even tell it to. And when it's said and done and me and him are through, he took another piece of me. So now it ain't no peace for you. You couldn't keep me if you wanted to. My toxic trait is that I'm disappearing as soon as I feel like somebody knows me. No tear-stained pillows when I was the only one there to hold me, just nights staring at the ceiling. No tears left to cry, just disappearing feelings. No sad song to be sung, just little me going numb. And I got so used to being loved from a distance that when I came across the first man that did it, I wasn't even tripping. And my toxic trait is, for that, I don't think I need no therapy. It makes sense, because the ones that were supposed to be wasn't ever there for me. And my heart been so turned inside out that even when I pour it out, I don't even feel like I'm being vulnerable. And I'm already on my way out the door as soon as you get uncomfortable. And yeah, they play their hand how they play it. And whatever's on my mind, I just go ahead and save it. I'm the one that chooses and I chose you, so I don't even gotta say shit. I know my love ain't the type of love that you play with. So I pick dudes that don't do love, the type of dudes you can only lay with. Non-committal, cause he married to the streets. We both got war stories and we just share them on my sheets. My toxic trait is that I think I'm scared of love. Cause deep down, I know how many times that I've been told I'm too much. And my mama never told me not to date a thug. My toxic trait is I love me in ways that no man could top. And once I decide that I love you, it ain't no way that I'ma stop. And the only way to break this bond is if he fuck it up and every time he do, I still find a way to suck it up. And my problem is I hear you even when you don't say it. And even while I'm acknowledging the apologies, I already decided that I'm staying. My toxic trait is that I ain't even hurting every time they do me dirty. I broke my father's heart, so when it comes to this love thing, I'm questioning if I'm worthy. One thing I can say is praise her for recognizing her flaws. Praise her for recognizing and, and being accountable for who she is and how she is, how she moves, what she expects and what she dishes out. She knows she has some work to do. She knows she has some healing to do in order to be accepted, truly accepted by any man that's willing to take her serious. You heard her herself. She said she pushed those type of guys away. Fellas, how many times you recognize being in a situation with a woman somewhat like this, but she pushed you away, knowing good and well that both of y'all can be good for one another. Yo, beautiful. You know I gotta record you. You jive five. Your dog looking crazy, man. Hey, yo, look, G. Look, I ain't gonna cap. That sex was fire, wasn't it? I was beating that joint up, wasn't I? Man, that shit was crazy. Hey, yo, I gotta tell you something, G. What you got to tell me? Your boyfriend's my cousin. What? Your boyfriend, Tyrone, Ty Bug, is my cousin. He told me to get in your inbox to see if you was going to go. And you did. And we in this hotel room right now. Yeah, you know I mean? Please stop. Turn it off. I swear. Yo, look. You think I'm playing. You're not about to do my cousin like that, G. It's over, man. I'm telling him. I'm telling him, G. It's, it's a dub. Nah. I'm through. You through. Please, let's just talk about this. Dude. We don't well, what do you follow me for? What do you find? I'm about to bounce. I'm going to this crib and I'm showing them this video. Dude, no. Yes, I'm showing them this video with your pretty self. Okay. Well, and that box was good. Okay, let it be good. You want more, right? Nah, I don't want no more. I did my job. I'll man. pay you. You ain't about don't to pay him. me nothing. Please don't tell him. I'll pay you. I swear to God. How much you gonna pay me? Seven hundred. I just got paid. And you gonna pay me what? I'm gonna pay you seven hundred. All right, say that. Get, put your clothes on. We about to go to the ATM right now. Oh, that's a dirt bag, G. <laughs> Yo, this man took her seven hundred dollars, and he exposed her for what she did. She was foolish to think that she could buy herself out of this situation. How many a day does a guy deserve? 
as many as he wants. I mean, I don't think a girl should ever say no. Even on your period, like like I said, you have a mouth. Why? Because what I'm not giving you, you're gonna go find elsewhere. And unless I want you to go find it elsewhere, which I don't mind at times, I, I will allow. So when is a time that you would allow your man to be with somebody else? Oh, whenever we decide, whenever we want to bring someone on, and we see someone attractive, and we, you know, I feel like it's okay sometimes, from time to time. I don't get jealous. Sharing. Sharing is caring. I love sharing. I love sharing my food. I don't mind sharing my boyfriend, and to a certain extent, like I said, I like bad. <laughs> okay, what makes a, a girl a bad? You're a bad. <laughs> okay, now who is she? Who is this lady right here? Because, uh, protect her at all costs, you know? <laughs> but for real though, seriously, I'm pretty sure a lot of men would agree that they would love to be in a situation like this with an attractive young lady. One that's not gonna stress him out, one that's gonna let him live, one that's gonna let him enjoy himself, because rather a guy say so or not, rather he admits it, he would love to be able to dibble and dabble in a couple of other things outside of his relationship or his marriage. They might not all say it out loud, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them feel that way. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Men are just built different. And ladies, maybe you would understand if you had a similar amount of testosterone flowing through your body as that of a man. As a matter of fact, I was hearing recently that when women go on T for the first time, testosterone, women that are transitioning into men, when they go on T for the first time, they experience what is considered to be the equivalent to a male puberty. On average, they will experience their puberty first, and then somewhat later on in life as they're transitioning, they will experience a male puberty. Obviously, I'm talking about the ones that were not put on hormone or puberty blockers at a young age. So when they experience this boost of testosterone, what you will hear a lot of them say is, wow, wait a minute, hold on. Now I get it. The way my body is responding, the way my mind is thinking, now I understand for the first time ever why men somewhat objectify women and why they want to sleep with so many other women without having any sort of romantic attachment to them whatsoever. A lot of trans men, women transitioning to men, a lot of them that are on testosterone will tell you that they have some degree of understanding of what that male experience is like when it comes to how we feel about women. Now, I'm not saying it's right, but biologically, it isn't wrong. Anyway, y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. See ya.